Florina okay. members of the media, thank you very much uh, for to our press conference. Just note your phones are on uh, silent mode while it's up on the table. We have our head coach Simon Rewalui for the press conference today and then followed by him will be the two players who will be coming a bit later. So the floor is open for question and answers now. No questions? Just I'll, I'll address that straight away. Um, it's uh, Josh has asked respectfully to it not be discussed, so I won't be discussing that. Just keeping it private. Just no, yeah. yeah. Say, sorry, just um, on uh, again. It's up for uh, two days now. We haven't seen uh, Sandy. Is he okay? He's got easy training. Uh, obviously, we had a tough game against Georgia, so um, yeah, there was a lot of bumps and bruises. Uh, everyone's still going through uh, the protocols. There's a lot of modified uh, modified day, really. Uh, it was a physical game, so yeah, we recovered well, um, but uh, yeah, still a few boys are kind of a, uh, a bit sore. For those um, uh, reviews, uh, Sai, what was the main uh, takeout for you? <coughs> oh. Firstly, it was credit to Georgia. They uh, they came out and they they really uh, played well in that first half, uh, tactically and, uh, and and with their physicality. Um, we we added that a bit with our, a lot of drop balls, uh, mistakes, uh, lost set piece. So we put ourselves under pressure in uh, areas that we didn't want to. And obviously, we came in at halftime, discussed that. What? How do we how do we rectify that? How do we get back to basics? And all credit to the boys. We uh, were still a little bit sloppy, but we came away with the wins. So the best. Uh, we we discussed all the things that we needed to discuss, but also gave credit to the boys for coming, uh, sticking with it, and getting the win. So, what's your take on uh, Portugal team? Very, very good team. A team that loves to play, uh, loves to play rugby. Um, uh, I'm not surprised because. Uh, We've been looking at them for the last uh, since we knew they were in our pool. Um, they play a really good brand of rugby, uh, and they've showed that at this uh, at this World Cup. They've uh, they've got a very exciting uh, backline back three, uh, and their their forwards are really coming into their own as well. Uh, you saw with the Wallabies game, they uh, put pressure on the Wallabies at scrum time. Uh, good lineup, put pressure on the in the defensive lineup as well. So uh, yeah, we're expecting a really good match. Just on the fly half position, uh, the uh, fly half had uh, not have a good game uh, against uh, Georgia. I think a lot of our players didn't have a good game, so we we assessed why we were a little bit off. There's no uh, pointing fingers at certain positions, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll look at the team. We've uh, challenged the team uh, at trainings to to earn, earn your spots, go out and win them. So yeah, we've we've put the challenge out. I'm speaking to Frank Lamani after after this. Can you just talk to us a little bit about him and, and you know, his development as a player? Had a little bit of time in England. That. Yeah, Frank's a, he's got a lot of experience now. He's obviously played in Super Rugby with the uh, with the Rebels. Uh, came when he came over here to Northampton, I think it was uh, for a stint, and then uh, we were lucky enough to get him back with the draw. Frank's a is a superb athlete and. He's getting that experience now, where he's uh, starting to control the game. We're, we're lucky; we've got three three good nines that work together, uh, push each other. Uh, and Frank, Frank is um, yeah, really developed into a world class number nine. How is the team condition and atmosphere towards the last game? Uh, of the group stage. It's good. Obviously, uh, it was a it was a very tough game. Uh, on Saturday, so the boys were a bit battered and bruised, and we had to recover a while. Uh, we, we had a good session yesterday in terms of our, our learnings, and today we had a great session. It was great tempo, great energy, uh, which was what we asked. So they're, they're in good spirits, and we, you know, with the Fijian boys, uh, when they're happy, you know, it's good. So they're, they're back up. Uh, a couple of days, uh, they're a little bit sore, so yeah, but they've, they've, they've bounced back well. So we have a critical game, still uh, haven't booked our quarter-final spot and uh, on the other hand, uh, some players haven't had any game time this World Cup. 
as a coach, uh, how do you balance this since uh, this is a loss? Yeah, it is. It is a tough one. So we we've, we've been looking for consistency uh, in terms of our selection. And obviously being very aware that uh, some players have not played as well. So they're pushing hard for selection and uh, we put the challenge out this week to go out and win their spot. And it's obviously a very important game for us.